Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Kevin. And now we are in Bakong, and that is a city that's uh, just south of Dumaguete. And one of the good things about Bakong is just the location of it. Uh, you're not far from getting to Dumaguete. I mean, you're only 10 minutes to Robinson's Mall, but you've also got easy access to Valencia as well. And then you can also get down to uh, Dowan, the great snorkeling spot, within uh, 10 minutes as well. But this is a little two bedroom, one bath that is only about maybe 300 meters from the beach here in Bakong. So it's not a beachfront property, but this is something if you got a scooter, you can be there within two minutes, one minute even, and you could probably walk there in less than, than five. Uh, one thing that I can see or, or hear that maybe you guys are hearing as well, there are some roosters nearby, so you're gonna have to put up with that, but let's see what it sounds like inside. You can see it is gated. There's a lock that will go on it. Okay, gentlemen, open it up here. And here's a nice plus. You get your own meter. A lot of the times when you rent a place, everybody's hooked up to one meter and then, you know, your landlord comes over and just tells you, hey, this is what you owe. You know, that happens to us. You know, not a big fan of that. But as you can see, it is enclosed and you do have a neighbor. And, it, and it's not the landlord, it's another tenant. You know, so they've got this unit. And we're gonna check out the back unit here. So you got a nice little carport here. Well, parking space, it's, you know, big enough for a car if you have one. Let's check out the back. So, no neighbors here. And everything's quiet on this side, but you know, you do have the roosters doing karaoke across the street. So, I come over here, you got your water tank up there, and it's great that it's, you know, that high up. These things are gravity fed. So, that should help with the pressure. And it's very shaded, so your air conditioning bill, you know, your electric bill shouldn't be too bad. So you got your own little backyard here. Got your little corrugated tin roof where you can have your, you know, you could make a little dirty kitchen out of that if you wanted. Got your laundry area right here. You know, uh, now I, you know, I just get my laundry done. It really doesn't cost much. Jenna Lynn and I can get a week's worth of laundry done for 200 pesos, like like four bucks, a little less than four bucks. But here you see you got a back door. Let's go in and check out the apartment. And again, this is a two bedroom, one bath, and it's gonna be semi-furnished. So let's see what that means. All right, so let's check out the inside here. And it does come semi-furnished. Um, there is some stuff in here that's not going to stay. The, the tenant actually had to leave and go back to the U.S. rather abruptly uh, for some health reasons. So there's going to be some stuff in the bathroom that's, that's not going to come. And I'm not sure if this floor fan is going to stay either. But it does come furnished. You have uh, two chairs and a small sofa. You know, love seat, but you know, plenty of room for four. Mm. Not big enough for, for me to lay down, but I don't know how tall you guys are going to be. You know, comes with a nice little four top kitchen table or dining table. And we'll come into the, the kitchen here and a nice little open floor plan. You see this water cooler is going to stay and it's pretty neat. I've never, didn't even think about this, but you see you can get your hot and cold water there. But there's also a little refrigerator down there. So, you know, you could store a water pitcher or something, or if you got guests coming over, you can hide some beers in there if you don't want them to, to get into it. So, and then we've, uh, you know, the microwave comes with it, which is good, and that's electric, as well as the cooktop here. That's electric, so there's no gas, so that's, that's an expense you're not going to have. And look here, there is... There is a hood over the cooktop. That works. All right. Again, doesn't always happen. And lots of cabinet space, so let's look at this. 
So up top here, plenty of room to put your glasses and plates, you know, anything you want. And then down here, lots of drawers for your utensils and pots and pans, anything you want to put in. More storage space under here. You know, since there's no gas, you don't have to worry about the gas bottle taking up a lot of space down there. And the sink here, one thing you have to remember in the Philippines, sinks aren't going to have hot water. You know, it's, that's just how it is. And so you got plenty of big windows. If you, it's, it's not hot in here right now with just the door open, but if you open those two windows, that side window, and then these two windows, it probably have a heck of a breeze. You know, you got your back door here, which takes you out, and a screen door takes you out to the back where you got your dirty kitchen and your laundry area. And again, you know, when you can get your laundry done for four bucks or less for a week, I don't see the point of getting out there and scrubbing them and then hanging them up. And they're never as soft and, and uh, comfortable as when you get, get it done professionally. This is bedroom number one. Of the two bedrooms, only one has air conditioning, and this is it. And it's, you know, it's the back window, the back bedroom here, and it's got this for storage. This does stay, so plenty of room for your hangables. Okay, and again, that's, all that stuff belongs to the, the tenant who's here now. You move in, if, you know, if you're ready to move in, don't worry, they'll get all this stuff out. You know, got some drawers for your socks and skivvies. And then we'll come over here. We'll check out the, the other bedroom. Now, in here, the bed stays, but nothing else does. You know, everything else, this belongs to uh, the tenant. And this one does not have air conditioning. But, nice size bed. So if I were you, I'd just take this bed out, put it in the other room, if there's only one of you. So... No AC, but you got some big windows there, and if you put a put a uh, floor fan in, I'm sure you'd be comfortable. You know, like I said, we're not far from the beach, and there's probably a decent little wind blowing out there. Let's check out the bathroom. All right, not not too bad. It's nice size. I don't know. I doubt this stays. I'm sure this belongs to the tenant. But you can get something like that at Lee Plaza or Hypermart for anywhere from 300 to 600 pesos. Um, great thing about it is it doesn't have a shower curtain, but you have this wall and you have the step there. So that's going to keep all the water from coming out into this area. And that's, trust me guys, that's important. You know, he, he does have a towel here, but, you know, in a regular bathroom that doesn't have that stuff, water comes all the way to the door and then you've either got to put a towel or a mat out on the floor here or you're tracking water around. So we'll come over here. It does have a brand new water heater, which I like. This big rainforest shower head. Let's check out the... Oh wow, guys, this is uh, for the Philippines. This is really good water pressure. Oh, and the hot water's on. So I can attest that the hot water works. You know, probably in the smaller size head here, you get even, even better pressure. But I like what I see and feel here. So let's come over. And again, you never know. This stuff may stay, but I doubt it. You got your toilet, no bidet. You could probably have one installed though. I know most Americans are going, a bidet, what the heck is that for? You know, when you come over, it's a little weird at first, but trust me, after you, after you use a bidet for a little while, eh, you'll, you'll start to like it. But anyway, let's look at it again, and we'll go from back to front this time. So, like I said, I don't know. This may be uh, 250 square feet or so. It's, it's good size, good open floor plan, and if you opened up these windows, it would be quite comfortable in here. So let's uh, go ahead and wrap this up. All right, so let's wrap this up. This is a two bedroom, one bath, uh, AC in one bedroom, hot water, nice setup, you know, mostly furnished, great location. And after this, we're gonna head over 
you know, we're going to take a, a ride over to the beach so, so you can see how close we are to that. So stay tuned for that. And we're also going to do a little bonus restaurant review. We're going to pick a, a restaurant near the area so you can see uh, one of the kind of places you could eat at. But this is two bedroom, one bath. And right now it is 28,000 pesos. Uh, they do want a minimum of uh, one year lease. Now the 28K made them negotiable. You know, most things are here in the Philippines. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and run off and check out the beach. Ready? So it's just a short ride. You come down here, nice sunny day. It's high tide now, so it's pretty active. It's the locals burying themselves alive. Hi uh, guys, how y'all doing today? So, it's not the biggest beach in the world, but it is nice. And you gotta realize this is Bacong. This is where the water starts getting clean. You don't want to swim over there in Dumaguete. I mean, you got all the water that runs off the streets and, and other things in Dumaguete. So you can come out here. I don't know about the snorkeling or anything, and I apologize y'all. I still haven't got my microphones yet. They're coming from Amazon, and it's kind of windy out here. But I don't know if there's any reefs or anything out there. But with these walls, there's that might be enough structure to where there, there could be some fish out here when the seas... Ah! Oh, oh, just got my feet wet. So, but it's really not bad. And these seas are rough. You know, normally it's such a windy day. Normally these seas will be calm. So you can, you can go out there and, and this water is very shallow. I mean, probably the, the first 40 yards out there, that water is maybe knee high to a six footer, someone two meters. And it, it varies. So. And like I said, this is high tide. Jenna Lynn's got her a, got her a sea urchin. Well, she's gonna throw it back in. And the locals do eat those. So, but again, not too bad. You can come out here every day if you wanted. So, let's go check out some restaurant near here. Well, we could have gone to some places closer to the house and, and even a couple places right on the beach, but uh, we went by one Big Billy's and the music was just playing too loud. Wouldn't have been able to actually do the video. But we're going to come over and show you this restaurant. We're still in Mekong, but it's uh, about a five minute ride, if that, from the house. Three to five minute ride. This is a place called uh, Bambulo. And it's funny, I actually, they know who I am here by my order. Uh, when I came here, I ordered a pepperoni pizza and the pepperoni pizza came with pepperoni, mushrooms, green peppers, onions, and something else. And, you know, I, I was going to send it back, but a friend of mine ate it. And, uh, you know, we just got another one made for me, but I am actually known as pepperoni, pepperoni pizza, and just pepperoni, even though it says pepperoni on the menu. doesn't tell you that all that other stuff is on it. So again, always, you know, especially when you first get here, whenever you go to a restaurant, ask them. You know, don't take for granted that a pepperoni pizza is just gonna be pepperoni. Find out what comes on a hamburger, you know? Just, it's never, never what you think. So I believe this is, uh, the expat owner here is German. 
And so if you look on here, there's pork schnitzel, which I may try that. So, hmm. Oh, and look at that. You got to love that chicken skin. How about that? You got all the health nuts. Take the skin off and they must send it over here and, and all of us eat it over here. But anyway, the cool thing about this is it's not just a restaurant, it's a resort as well. So after we eat, we're gonna walk over and, and show you the pools and everything. Come in. You got a really nice size bar here. They do have fans. They don't have them turned on, but they do have fans. You know, the Filipinos are used to the heat, so they don't mind. But you got the nice little bar area, restrooms right over there. That's probably where this gentleman's going. It's like kind of a little sorry, sorry store. So we could sit here, but we're going to go ahead and sit in the back because they do have fans. So if we have to, we'll go ahead and take up this big old six top table. Hi, hey, puppy dog. You always got your obligatory dog. How are you, buddy? I'm sure he'll be around once we get the food. But... We got the fan, so we're probably gonna commandeer this table right here. Anyway, we'll be back when we get the menus. Okay, and the name of the place is Bambulo. And been here a couple times, actually. And I get the pizza every time. But you know what? I may, I may try the burger. Burgers scare me because most of the Filipino places, they're not 100% ground beef. They're gonna be maybe half and half with pork or some other mystery meat. And that's just, you know, not something that I'm really fond of. But I think I, I might just go back to my, my go-to uh, pepperoni pizza here. And the funny thing is meat lovers, you'd think meat lovers would be all meat. Well, I told you what came on the pepperoni pizza. Meat lovers has even more. It has olives and all kinds of other stuff. You know, my, another friend of ours ordered that. And fortunately, he likes all that stuff, but I don't. But here you can see the, the prices. You know, now here's some, here's some Filipino things. I don't know what these are. I do know Adidas. This is funny if any of y'all are wearing Adidas shoes. Adidas is chicken feet. So there you go. You're running around in chicken feet tennis shoes wherever you are. But again, got your hamburger, chicken nuggets and everything. Side dishes. Let's see what else we got. Now they do, looks like they're, they're prepared to cater big parties. You can see, you know, these are 10 to 12 people. And you're talking, you know, 4,500 pesos right now. That's probably about $87, but look at all the stuff you get. So who knows? Let's see what else we have. Ah, so beers. San Miguel's, all your San Miguel's are, you know, 75 pesos, everything else. All right, well, while she's here, we'll go ahead and place our order. Okay, so we're ready to order. And can I put you on the video or no? You wanna be on the video? Come on, it's okay. Only a few people will be watching, but, okay, so I'm ready to order. Now, I'm gonna get the pepperoni pizza. Okay, one, so, so that 12 inch. I'm going to get the eight. Okay. But will you tell me what comes on the pepperoni pizza? In here, in our bambolo style, we, have, uh, we put um, black olives and bell pepper and onions. Okay. With, yeah. So that's not a pepperoni pizza. That's a supreme pizza. With, um, so all I want is, is pepperoni and pepperoni cheese. Only. Yes, I want sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. No, no veggies. No veggies. Okay. No veggies. Okay. And if you could, maybe put it in just a little bit longer to make it crispy. Okay. Okay. And gentlemen, what are you going to have? I will have the lechon kawali. Okay. Lechon. With plain rice. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's it. Okay. okay. That should do it. I will just repeat, sir. Yours is one pepperoni, eight, no veggies, and a little bit crispy. And mom is lechon kawali and one plain rice. Perfect. And what's your name? Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Yeah. Thank you, Mary Jane. Welcome. All right. While we're waiting for the food, we'll go and check out the, the pool. This is actually a resort. So they have uh, two rooms that you can get. Uh, one of them is 1,800 pesos. That's good for two people. 
and I don't know if you get free breakfast or anything included in that. I will check. The other one is 2,000 pesos, and it's you can put an extra bed in that. Probably a you know a, a twin bed, so three people or something like that. Let's go check this out. So like I said, a little sorry sorry store. Looks like maybe some prom dresses or wedding dresses end up here, and. Here's your bathrooms. Let's go check out the pool. Now this little area, I thought if you ate here, maybe it was included, but it is not. You actually, how's it going guys? Good. Yeah, that looks good. So you got the two pools and cabanas and everything. Kids 12 and under, it's a hundred pesos to come in here. And now this is the little pump house, but you come over here and you have this slide so this slide get up there and then over here in there is a little cave not a hot tub but a, a jacuzzi kind of thing of course it's not hot but i mean the water is very comfortable you know it's today is sunday so you got families who come out to enjoy a, a beautiful day and for 100 pesos, you know, that's less than $2 for the kids and less than 3 for the adults. So it's very nice. And But if you come out on a weekday, this place is empty. And especially at night, you know, you'll have this place to yourself. Let's come up here. And so here's a nice little place to eat. But, well, here we go, as always, rules. Da, 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 da. All right, normal rules. Let's come up. Let's see. All right, here we go, bird's eye view. There's one. I don't know if she's telling me to be careful of the kid, but all right, got the little water slide here. And. I have been in it. I didn't do the slide where it was nighttime, so I didn't even know that was there. All right. Pretty grounds. And you just sit over here. Yeah, this nice little chair. This looks comfortable. What do you think? Yeah, but it's old. It's like that already. It's like that already. Hmm. Not all like that already. Oh, it's also in the sun. Anyway, so nice little grounds. So we'll get back to our table and get ready for our food. Jenna Lynn just got her food, and my pizza should be coming shortly. But uh, and that's the thing you gotta get used to in the Philippines is that in most restaurants you're not getting your food at the same time. In fact, she should, could be done eating before I even get my food. But anyway, she got the pork koali, or the lechon koali. And what is lechon koali? Right. Lechon koali, sometimes um, they, this one, um, they marinate it first, and then they boil it, and then they will season it again, and then fry it. That's what they do, some of the people, but... Some of the people just get the leftover from the um, lechon and fry it. Okay, so what she's saying is, if they do like a, a whole pig cookout, a big lechon, uh, some of these places will use the leftovers from that, kind of like how Wendy uses, Wendy's uses their uh, leftover burgers, ground beef to make chili. Yeah. But she says this is not from that. This was probably just a, a cut of pork and then they boiled it and cooked it. And she got some rice with it, and I guess that's some soy sauce, maybe? Yes, soy sauce okay. and chili. Soy sauce and chili. So I'm going to go ahead and let her dig in. I'll come back on when I get my pizza, and then we'll tell you what we think of the food after. All right, so my pizza just got delivered, and only about 10 minutes behind Jenna Lynn, which is not bad. You can go ahead and eat, honey. Don't worry about that. But it's funny. Um, as y'all saw, Mary Jane didn't know who I was. Because, uh, you know, we went over the pepperoni order. But the lady who uh, brought Jenna Lynn's food came. And she saw us. And she's like, oh, welcome back. And she looked at me. And she's like, Are you getting the pepperoni? <laughs> you know, I said, yeah. So I just got here. 
and I did ask to make it a little cr crispier. And the, the crust here is, it's a little different than what you're gonna get in the West, but need to go ahead and eat before these flies get here and we'll do a review afterward. We just finished up our meals. And one of the things that I noticed when they first delivered it, uh, they brought me a 12 inch pizza, not an eight inch pizza, but that's okay. I'll finish eating it tonight. So now we're getting down to the food review and we're gonna change the scale. We've been doing one to five and that's just, yeah, it's kind of weird for doing food. It's okay for hotels, but not for food. We're gonna change it to one to 10. And that gives us a little more wiggle room, but we'll still keep doing decimals. So first up, Jenna Lynn, what did you think about your lechon koali? I will give it seven, 7.5. A 7.5. 7 okay, that's that's pretty high score. What did you uh, like about it? I like about it. Um, that's the best lechon kawali that I ever had here in Dumaguete. Really? Yeah. But, but while you were eating it, you said it didn't have the best flavor. So it, it doesn't have the best flavor. So you have to dip it in the soy sauce. But um, if you maybe it's if it's a normal Filipina, they will like it because they um, they usually dip it in the soy sauce too. But um, so you're saying a normal Filipino would like it, but you're not normal. <laughs> so, okay. No, yeah. You said it. My taste buds is different than them. I think so. And I just like the one that uh, they're supposed to be marinating it because that's what I know about it. They're supposed to be marinating it and cook it. Okay. So 7.5. Now I am going to rate my pizza and, and it's already been boxed up or being boxed or bagged up, you know, because of the flies. I'm going to rate my pizza on two different scales. I'm going to rate it on a Filipino pizza scale and American pizza scale. And those are two totally different things. Trust me. Okay. You know, if you're coming over here from America, one of the most disappointing things you're going to find is the pizza over here. It's just, it's not what we're used to. And normally they use a sweet Philippine sauce. Um, they use a banana ketchup. They'll yeah. put that on with their regular tomato sauce as well. But this one, um, one thing I like about them here, it's very thin and I asked them to put it in just a little bit more to make it crispy and mine was, and it, it had a great crunch to it. Um, a decent amount of toppings. The, the quality of the pepperoni is actually pretty good here. So for a, a Philippine pizza place, that's not a wood brick oven, I would rate this an eight. You know, uh, you can get wood brick oven pizza here. That's better. You know, the crust is just going to come out better. But the, the sauce and the crunch and everything was great. On an American scale, <clears throat> this is going to be right up there with uh, like a Red Baron pizza, a Red Baron frozen pizza. So if you've had something like that, you know, that's, that's about on par with this. So... I don't know how you'd rate that, maybe a five. Um, you know, it's it's not really up, up to par with any kind of pizza joint you'd go to, but it's, you know, it's, like I said, if it's not a wood brick oven, the pizzas here are closer to a frozen pizza that you'd get in the US, but the sauce here was not the red sweet sauce. So like I said, on a Philippine scale, this is an eight. And um, I don't know what I've got to pay for this one. Let's see. Uh, so I've got to pay four fifty for that instead of three twenty. So that's less than nine bucks for a twelve-inch pizza. Not bad. But anyway, you know, I uh, I recommend eating here, and you know, stay the night, go swim in the pool. Remember, if you get the room here, pool and everything's included. So we're gonna wrap up everything. Remember, that was a two-bedroom, one bath with hot water um, in Bacong. Like I said, great location, just uh, 10 minutes to Robinson's Mall, less than 10 minutes to Valencia, and 10 minutes to Snorkeling in Dowan. You got the beach right there, 28,000. Um, you know, we came over here, Bambulo Restaurant and Resort, pretty cool. You know, it's a nice place to come out and at least spend the day. Like I said, come during the week, come during the weekend. You saw there's families out here. 
and that's going to happen. You know, weekends and brownouts, this place will be packed. But other than that, it's a really nice place. So I hope you guys like the, the, the apartment. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments section below. I'm going to put Alma's contact info in there, and you can contact her directly. That's the best way to do it. Or uh, just put them in the comments section because they read those, and I can get the answer for you there. But anyway, that's it for now. I appreciate y'all watching. If you like it, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I uh, hope you have a great day or a great night, wherever you are. Thanks.